The history of outboard motors dates back to the early years of the 20th century. Today, outboard motors are highly sophisticated machines that can deliver impressive performances. They play a crucial role in various maritime activities. Let's now turn to the different types of outboard motors that are available on the market today. The variety is large and covers a wide spectrum of needs and preferences. Firstly, there is a fundamental difference between two-stroke and four-stroke engines. Two-stroke engines are typically lighter, making them ideal for smaller boats and specific applications. However, they require an oil-petrol mixture, leading to higher emissions. Four-stroke engines, on the other hand, are heavier but run smoother, are more efficient and more environmentally friendly. They have a separate oil supply, which increases maintenance but also contributes to a longer lifespan. On one end of the spectrum, we have small, portable outboard motors. These are lightweight, easy to handle, and perfect for smaller boats. These motors are often single-cylinder models but can also be designed as small multi-cylinder engines. On the other end, we have larger, more powerful outboard motors for bigger boats and more demanding conditions. These engines provide significant power and ensure that boats can maneuver easily in rough waters and challenging situations. Nowadays, they are typically designed as four-stroke engines and have multiple cylinders. The cylinders can be arranged in various configurations, including inline, V, and boxer engines. The number of cylinders and the arrangement have a significant impact on the power, smoothness, and weight of the engine. Let us now have a look at the main components of an outboard motor. The cowl is the outer cover of the engine, designed to protect it from water and debris. It also reduces engine noise and contributes to the engine's overall aesthetic. The engine block is the core part where combustion occurs, generating the power to move the boat. It houses the cylinders, pistons, and other critical internal components. The auxiliary systems include systems for fuel delivery, cooling, lubrication, air supply, and electrical operations, ensuring the engine runs smoothly and efficiently. We will delve deeper into these systems in later sections. The drivetrain in an outboard engine is essentially the system that transmits power from the engine to the propeller, enabling the boat to move through water. It consists of several key components, each playing a crucial role in the smooth operation of the boat. The drive shaft is a long shaft that connects the engine to the gearbox and the propeller. Think of it as a long stick that transmits the engine's power all the way down to the propeller. The gearbox allows for the change of rotational direction and speed, thereby controlling the forward and backward movement of the boat. In the neutral position, the connection between the engine and the propeller is interrupted, so no movement occurs. In the animation, we see a schematic representation of the gearbox of an outboard motor. The blue shaft is the drive shaft, at the lower end of which there is a pinion, blue. This pinion drives two gears, one for forward, green, and one for reverse, red. Both gears for both directions of travel always rotate when the engine is running. Right now, the engine is in neutral position, so there is no movement of the propeller shaft and the propeller. If we move the gear lever to the forward position, the dogs of the clutch, magenta, engage in the grooves of the gear for forward travel. Green, the clutch now rotates with the green gear. It is connected to the propeller shaft, which is now also set in a forward rotational motion. In reverse, the process occurs correspondingly with the reverse gear, red. When switching from forward to reverse, it is important to make sure that the gearbox remains briefly in the neutral position between the two gears. This is colloquially referred to as the memorial second for the gearbox. If we were to switch directly from forward to reverse gear or vice versa, the gearbox could be damaged by the acting torque. Attached at the end of the drive shaft, the propeller is the final piece of the puzzle. When it spins, it pushes water backward, which, in turn, propels the boat forward. The design of the propeller, including its size and the angle of its blades, greatly affects the boat's performance. If you like to support our channel, please consider a donation under the link in the description.